In this tutorial, we will be building the basic circuitry and code to enable communication between microcontroller and website using P5JS and Adafruit I.O. Please read the Featherza overview, welcome to Adafruit I.O. and Adafruit I.O. basics digital input before starting. All will be linked in the description. We will be condensing the information for this tutorial. Let's start with the circuit first. You'll need wires, wire cutters, a breadboard, a resistor, a button, an LED, and the feather huzzah. All of these components, except for the push button, should be items you already have or received recently from last year or this year's kits. So let's start with the feather huzzah and the breadboard. The feather should be in this packaging with foam protection on the pins. Go ahead and remove that. Now that we have the feather and the board, go ahead and push the pins into the board. Be careful not to break any of the pins. Depending on the board, pushing the pins into the board may be a tight fit, so do take your time. Once it is seated into the board, we can move on to the next step. Taking a look at the Justin Cooper tutorial, Adafruit IO Basics Digital Input, we will adapt his fritzing diagram into this. The addition will be adding another digital pin for an LED that will respond to user input on pin 16. One thing to note about the LED. Make sure the long positive end goes to the digital pin and the short end goes to the negative. If you don't have a push button in your kit, you can swap it out for one you should have received in the second year of IXD. Instead of a push button, we have a slide switch that works just as well. The end pins of the switch can be either positive or negative, while the middle pin will be used for the digital input. Here's the comparison of the switches if you don't have a push button. Now that we have the board set up, let's move on to the code. Head on over to the Adafruit site, make an account to set up a feed to send data to the server for P5.js. Starting on the Adafruit site, Head on over to the I.O. tab, Feeds tab, View All, New Feed, and make a name for your feed. To start your Arduino code, open Arduino IDE, head on over to Tools, Manage Libraries, and we will search for our Adafruit I.O. Arduino by Adafruit. Go ahead and install. If you get a prompt for installing additional libraries, accept them. These are necessary libraries for this to function. After installing all of the necessary libraries, set up your board in IDE by going to Tools, Board, ESP8266, Adafruit Feather Huzzah. Now that we have the board and library set up, we can add in some examples. Head on over to File, Examples, Adafruit I.O. Arduino, and Digital In. When you open the Digital In example, you'll be greeted with two tabs. Head on over to the config file. Enter your username and your key, both from Adafruit I.O. Fill in your Wi-Fi and your password, the ones you would use to connect your phone to the internet. So we've modified this code to include some more things. We've added an LED pin. We've changed the feed to your specific feed you set up in Adafruit I.O. Added a pin mode for the LED pin. And added digital rights for when the LED will turn on and off. And one more thing, setting your specific feed to Adafruit I.O. As a proof of concept, the Feather is connected to an external battery. If your Wi-Fi and I.O. information is set up correctly in the config file, you will see updates on your feed. As we move forward with P5.js integration, we'll have to check a few things. 
Under your privacy settings, make sure your feed is public. This is important so that your sketch can access the JSON data. And under feed info, copy your API key to bridge p5.js. Taking the YouTube tutorial example, we have changed the let URL to your specific feed. Decrease the counter so we have a faster interaction and created a map function to change the size of the ellipse when you press the button. In this final test, we can see that everything we've done has come together. In the essence of time, this tutorial has been shortened. If you have any questions, refer to the tutorials listed in the description below.